Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. It is, yes, National Pajama Day. <laughs> I have two weeks off from teaching, and so I'm on um, my spring break. We'll call it that. So I am not uh, getting out of my robe today, which is the luxury of uh, working from home. So today we are going to make a bag from magazine pages. Uh, this is something that someone has requested quite a while ago. I've been kind of uh, slow in responding to this. So somebody wanted to know how to make a bag or a box uh, for their altered book. So that's what we're going to play with today. Magazine pages and a sewing machine. So I neglected to say that in the supplies, but you definitely need a sewing machine. I have some thank yous to make for people that have contributed to the uh, PayPal Me. Thank you. Um, I may have mentioned some of these names before, but it's worth saying again. Lisa, Gloria, Rosemary times two. Thank you, Tarot Reading. Uh, oh, I bet Tarot Cards. Anyway. Lynn, Adele, Susan, Sandpaper and Paint Brushes, and Judith, and Angela, and Barbara. So these are my contributors. I have little um, thank you packets, <clears throat> pardon me, that are headed your way. Uh, much, much, much appreciation. So, uh, yeah, chatty. See you on the table. So this is what we're going to be playing with today. It's a bag uh, made with magazine papers, magazine pages, six magazine pages. It's a large magazine. And then a cardboard tag, twine handles. Actually, I promised this video to someone quite a while ago. They wanted uh, a video on how to make a bag or a box for their book. So this book is not a fat book yet. Uh, might take a bigger bag as the bag, as the book gets fatter. But uh, that was really really fun to do. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. Is a handmade, hand sewn bag from Magazine Pages. Okay, the sun is up. It's quite overcast. Hopefully we have enough light here without bringing in the glaring overhead desk light. So let's go through the supplies that we're going to need to make that fun bag today. No particular order, okay? Scissors, ruler, pen, twine for handles, crocodile 2, our handy dandy tool that I love. You're going to need six pages from a large magazine. Three pages are going to be uh, one side and then three pages of the other side. So you'll go through your six pages and decide which ones you want on the exterior of your bag. And I have chosen these two pages. I've already torn this poor magazine apart. So we've got some bits and jibbles there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and I am going to sew these pages together on both sides, okay? We're going to take this one step at a time. Okay, I'm going to take my six pages to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew them together down one side. Okay, so I have sewn down the side. You know my bobbin ran out, so I had to double stitch a couple of areas. I'm okay with that. I happen to like that shabby look anyway. I am removing extra strings. Alright, so now I'm going to count in three pages. One, two, and three. Make sure I have three pages on the other side as well. One, two, and three. 
Now I'm going to take the top edge and fold it down. This is where I'm going to have my, I'm going to have all my stitching on the exterior of the bag. Not the handle part, but this part's going to be on the exterior. I just think that's kind of fun. So fold down the top. This is going to take your uh, grommets and your handles. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew this down. Alright, so I uh, folded that edge down and I stitched it. I use the longest stitch that I can on my machine and I still have to guide it through the machine. Um, Alright, so let's take this and fold that. And now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch down the other side. Alright, we're going to go through this step by step. So I'm going to kind of repeat myself. So I have my six pages of magazine. I sewed them together down one side. I opened it up so that I had three pages on the left and three pages on the right. Then I folded the top down and I stitched that while it was open. Then I closed it and I sewed down the, the other side. Okay, so now I have a tube. Alright. Very, very fun. Alright, now we get to decide how big we want the bottom. And I'm going to fold that up. Mm, about that far. Okay, so if I grab my ruler for those that need a measurement, it's uh, about two and a half inches up. And I am going to crease that just with my thumbnail, but you can use your bone folder, of course. And find the middle, open that up, and flatten that down like that. Flatten that down on that side, and flatten it down on this side. Alright, now I'm going to take these pieces and bring them in. I want them to overlap just a little bit, because I am going to sew them. Make sure that that overlaps. That's a little bit too far. Just past that center seam right there. And bring this in. Okay, now I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to sew those two pieces together like that. Alright, like that. Just going to sew along there. Remove extra strings if you so desire. You certainly can leave them on there. And then I'm going to go back and refold that. Okay, now I'm going to open my bag up. Can you do this with a glue stick? Can you do this with other gluing materials, adhesives? Of course you can. I just thought it would be kind of fun to use the sewing machine. All right, now you're gonna open your bag up. Kind of poke those corners down. Pretty darn cool. Now I am not going to glue the bottom. The bottom is sewn together here. The flaps are kind of loose, but we're going to catch those with the cardboard. So just put your hand down in there and push those down. You know, lovely bag. 
and I'm going to measure the bottom. I think this is about seven, seven by two and a half. So I'm going to go less than seven and less than two and a half. I'm just going to mark, I'm going to go six and a half by two. This is really firm cardboard. It's from some scrapbooking material, I'm sure. Straight as an arrow. As always. And you'll see how thick that is. It's from a scrapbook pad of paper. I am still enjoying so much of this scrapbook paper from Chris. of our bag. Can you see it down in there? And now let's make some handles. All right. I am not that particular on whether they are all in the same spot or not. But with the handy dandy crocodile, you can do all the pages at once. So I'm just going to go in there and pop a hole there and someplace over in here, being as exact as I always am. I'm okay with that. And now, where did I put those grommets? I need four grommets, two for each side. in there, facing out. The Crocodile 2 is a great grommet installer. There we go. All right, I'm going to do the other three. Oh, I'm going to save those. I have a jar full of those. Look at those. Fun little pokey outies from the crocodile. All right, I'm going to put the other three grommets in place. All right, I have my four grommets in place. I'm going to bring my twine in, decide how long I want the handle. So I don't want them very long. I just want a little something, something there. I'm going to cut two approximately the same length. I want the knots on the outside. I think that would be fun. So with any luck, I can get that twine out there. And here. And I'm just going to make a knot. Double knot, I've decided, so it doesn't pull through that grommet. There's 
one hand go. Let's see how we do on the other side. about them being exa exactly the same length, that would be out of character. There we go. There's our bag. And this was made specifically on request by someone that wanted to make a bag for their book. So here is my book going into the bag. And ta-da. I am so happy with that. So you can do this out of scrapbook paper, you can do it out of a brown paper bag, uh, you can do it out of just about anything. So, and as your book gets bigger, you know that you'll have to have a bigger bag. So, thank you for joining me. This was really a fun little, uh, something that I had promised to someone that we would be doing on a tutorial on. So, um... I decided I wanted to put a tag on the bag. Tag on the bag. So I am just going to pop a hole in one of my cardboard tags. I'm not going to decorate it right now because I don't know who this is for. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to untie a knot. To the best of my ability, I'm going to drive that twine through there. That's a fun touch, don't you think? One of our handmade tags. There we go. That's fun. That is a fun bag. Okay. Now, <laughs> go create, go play, go have fun. Thanks for joining me.